Well, the events that happened on December 7, 1941 will never be forgotten. The attack on Pearl Harbor led to U.S. involvement in World War II. Local veterans in Bemidji reunited with one another this past weekend to honor their fellow men. Haiti Clotter has the story. What they have done for this country and stuff is absolutely awesome. This Wednesday is National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, the day the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. The Eagles Club of Bemidji hosted their annual Pearl Harbor dinner. It's a way for the younger ones to remember them and what they've done. The purpose that if it wasn't for the World War II veterans, we probably wouldn't be here today. The attack on Pearl Harbor happened 75 years ago in Hawaii, but every year the veteran foreign wars post 1260 of Bemidji remembers that day and those directly affected. Thomas Gilmore was a 10-year-old boy when Pearl Harbor was attacked. He vividly remembers the day when his brother and father left for Pearl Harbor as civilian machinists for the Navy. At first, he didn't know it was an attack. Actually, we thought it was a mock war. We didn't realize it was real for quite some time. Gilmore, along with his mother and sister, lived in the housing just outside of Pearl Harbor. He has a picture that shows a bullet in his house and the smoke from the attack is clear as day. I can remember seeing the flak in the air from the anti-aircraft guns and planes actually going down in flames. The guest of honor was a prisoner of war during the Vietnam War who bravely shared his testimony. He was caught during an ambush and still has the chain that was on his ankle. But that never came off my ankle for four years. Many of the men who fought and risked their lives for the freedom of others have now passed away. They were there in spirit. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. A silent auction also took place at that event, and those proceeds go back to the veterans of foreign wars. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.